Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing so, so, Social Security's Supplemental Security Income, also known as SSI. What I'll be talking about is what it is, who is it for, and how do you apply? So let's get started into what is it. It's a federal benefit and it's funded by general taxes. This surprised me and I used to think it was paid for by social security taxes. It's not it's just funded from your regular income tax. So when you look at your paycheck and it's in the OASDI, it's not coming out of that at all. It's coming out of your regular income tax. This year it's paying a maximum of $783 per month. Some other some states, Maryland is not one of them, but some states will offer a supplement to that $783 and you may be receiving more. Very frequently what will happen is families who have a child living with them will be receiving less than $783. And that's because Social Security will reduce the benefit received for in-kind support and maintenance, otherwise known as ISM. I'm gonna do a different video about the two types of ISM and how to avoid it. And just be aware that you have to show that you are not providing in-kind support and maintenance. And that could be through a rental agreement or some other example where you can show Social Security that your child, if they're living with you, is paying their fair share of rent and food. And that's all it's meant to pay for. It's only meant to pay for basic needs, clothing, food, and shelter. I acknowledge it's not very much. I acknowledge it's very, very difficult to live off of that. I don't see it changing anytime soon. So if you have a child who's receiving SSI, I really encourage you to think about how you can subsidize him or her when they uh, pass away or when they go out on their own, whether it's you leave life insurance, investments, or something similar. So who is it for? It's, it's for the any individual who is old, elderly, blind, or disabled with little to no income. And little to no income, it's hard to quantify because Social Security doesn't just say you can't make more than X amount per per month. What they do is if you're earning income, meaning you have a salary, or you have, in some cases, alimony, because that, that counts as income. Anything that is earned income, Social Security will reduce your SSI by, $2 for, by $1 for every $2 of earned. Now, that reduction comes after a, they, are, they ignore $20, and then they ignore another $65 of earned income. There's a calculator that goes into it that uh, it's not as, as cut and dry as saying, oh, if I make $100, I'm gonna have my SSI reduced by $50. It's a little more complicated. Unearned income, and this could be ch uh, child support, this could be you know, um, a pension if your child is receiving survivor benefit plan from a deceased veteran. It could be SSDI if your child is eligible for social security disability income it's gonna reduce the SSI dollar for dollar. So again, your SSI is gonna be reduced and you have to be aware of that. Minor children may qualify. However, when they are looking at minor children, they're considering the income of the parents as well as the assets of the parents. So, you know, up until age 18, it's a whole different calculation. And then anybody who has worked, but maybe they don't have enough credits to receive SSDI, and are disabled, they can they can apply for SSI. Again, SSI is not that not meant to be a huge income. It is means tested. So how do you apply? You can apply in person at the Social Security office. You can apply online uh, at at the website, or you can apply by the phone. If you're applying for the first time, my recommendation would be either go in person so you can get any questions answered. You can show the document, you can get a name of who took your documents, only provide copies, because when you do online or you do a phone, 
I get nervous about where's that information actually going? Has anybody received it? You never want to send originals. You always want to make sure you send copies. And you can use an attorney. I hired an attorney to do this for me. It's, it's difficult. I would expect you, if you are applying, it can take anywhere between three to six months to get word back, maybe longer. I would expect them very frequently, they'll reach out for more information. If you don't get the information to them in enough time, they will close your, they will close your application. So look in the mail for that. Make sure you're, you're paying attention and get the information they want as soon as possible. If you are denied, you have 60 days to appeal. Don't put that off. Don't delay and say, I'll get to it. Make sure you, you get your, your appeal submitted right away. That's it for SSI. I'm gonna do as much as I can to keep these videos short and sweet. If you need to get in touch with me, email is the best, Eric, especially is navigator.us. That is not .com, it is .us. I look forward to hearing from you and stay tuned. There'll be more videos like this.